Hello guys, welcome to my rant. And really quick, my shoes match my nails, which are my shirt. Da -da 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 -da. Sorry, my floor is not super clean. And there's Muffin. He's a little baby. There we go. Hey guys, so oh, my shoes match. your shoes are black. They match everything. Anyway, I wasn't sure I'd get my foot. I can. <laughs> Whew, that took all the energy out of me. Okay, so little uh, rant news information. So Drunk Elephant recently announced they've repackaged, changed their vitamin C serum. And actually, my initial thought was, that's awesome. Now I can try it again. And then my next thought was anger and a little bit of rage. And I know it's a little ridiculous to get this upset about something like this, but to be honest, the rage factor is um, getting to me. But let me first mention the change. So they are lowering it by $2, woo uh, But they're doing something similar to the Clinique Fresh Pressed where uh, when you get this, actually the Clinique's a little bit better package. Uh, when you get it, you peel back the foil, there's a little uh, thing inside. And when you push that down, it sends the powder into the liquid, you mix it, and then you use it. And then with these, you typically want to use it within like a week or two. So they're doing something similar to that, uh, but the big packaging, and then they've got like a little vial with the powder in it, and then you mix it yourself. One interesting thing is this typically says to use it within two weeks after you do that. Drunk Elephant doesn't mention anything about that. So... I'm wondering if it will kind of oxidize the same like this. Anyway, so my, my rage here gets to the fact that for the last I don't know, five, six years, they've been selling this serum, and people have been emailing them, talking with them, leaving messages on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, my vitamin C serum is dark, dark orange. Uh, what's the story? Like, look at this one. It's pretty much been this color since I got it. It's brown. It's oxidized. It should be a golden yellow, not a dark orange. But for the last uh, four or five years, they've been telling people, no, it's fine. We put a pumpkin in there and it gives it a dark color. That's BS. The truth is it's oxidized. Now they're finally really admitting it. Uh, when you look at what they said, um, C Firma has, here's their statement. C Firma has always been my beloved brightening serum, but as we started selling globally, I had a feeling our customers weren't getting the freshest possible C Firma. And then in parentheses, it takes longer to ship overseas. For l acid to diminish uh, signs of sun damage, fight free radicals, and really brighten the skin, it has to be the right pH, be surrounded by the right ingredients, and be stable. It's not easy, so I had an idea to deconstruct it. Let the consumer be the mixologist. Now it comes with two vials you mix together. You mix it yourself only one time only, and it never touches air, so it's fresh as can be. So right here, they're admitting to it. I had a feeling our customers weren't getting the freshest C firma. However, I even sent them an email uh, about this a while ago, and they basically wrote back, "You're a moron. Go screw, go screw off. Thanks for the eighty bucks." That was just my experience. Obviously, I don't tell them I have a YouTube channel or anything like that. And at that time, I might not even have my YouTube channel. I can't remember. But that was the similar thing that most other customers got. I even saw a thread on Reddit uh, written, I think, three days ago from someone in Australia uh, mentioning it's dark brown. Seems bad. And then all the replies were like, oh, people just don't understand. It's got pumpkin. It's not... It's dark because of the pumpkin. It's not because I remember the first bottle I bought this, it was golden. It was not uh, dark, dark, dark chocolate colored. So for the last five, six years, they've been making 80 bucks a bottle on this, knowing I had a feeling our customers weren't getting the freshest possible seafood. I had a feeling. You should say, I knew this was old and expired and no good. And we took their 80 bucks and we told them they're an idiot on top of it. That's my rant. That's an irritating to me. It does get me angry because they made millions of dollars on this taking 80 bucks a person for something they knew wasn't fresh very effective and great for your skin when you could have been spending 20 bucks on something from dr brenner that was as good if not better or geek and gorgeous or timeless where they actually make it fresh to actually have it be fresh you actually have to make it fresh and i have a feeling drunk elephant probably makes these in their factory maybe twice a year so by the time you get in at six months old so my first instinct was I want to review it and try it. And then I thought, you know what? I don't even want to give them my 78 bucks because not only did they 
take my 80 bucks for this. They told me I was an idiot on top of it. And along with me, hundreds, probably thousands of other people. And uh, at that point, that is why when I did my brands, I trust Drunk Elephant wasn't in them because uh, I don't fully trust them, I guess. And this product is probably the main reason why. Um, but they also have a reputation for kind of treating customers terribly. So um, anyway, those are my thoughts for today. I just... I had to record this because last night I was laying in bed and I was getting more and more angry. I know it's stupid, but when you've got a company making millions of dollars from people that 80 bucks is a lot of money to, and then you take it from them and tell them they're a moron on top of it, it's ridiculous. So anyway, those are my comments. You guys want me to try it or not? I don't know. I've not really made an opinion on it, but I do have a feeling once you mix those vials, it's going to be like clinic, like use it within two weeks. But I don't, I don't know that. I haven't done any other research on that so anyway leave a comment i love hearing from you guys leave your thoughts maybe you agree maybe you disagree uh intelligent minds can disagree disagreement is great because you know you always learn something why the other person feels that way so it's always great i love having people disagree and hearing things so anyway i'm getting all red i'm getting fired up i'm gonna calm down hang out with lincoln and look at my matching outfit so anyway thank you guys so much i will see you more later